Movers and shakers. This is such a exciting word that came out from the um, the optical revolution days, often being called the dot com days, when internet started blossoming in the late 90s and early 2000s. When I am personally getting involved with one of the leading edge startup, and the startup, the, many of the startup back then, is driving the next generation revolution of our networks. Uh, back then, even Google was a startup, and um, by the media, we have all been called the movers and the shakers. So what are the movers and the shakers are really referring to? Um, I think in the sense of the, uh, the shakers, is the companies that are coming into the market, having not only the technology, but having the mentality to change the status quo to shake the current market that's not innovating, that has not been evolving. And that was such an exciting time when internet was booming and people can look at Yahoo for news, but now all of a sudden the optical networking that supports a much more uh, a global level connection to enable data centers and data to be in search engines that were, where Google started entering to the market to index the global knowledge. Um, so that is the shaker portion. The mover portion is these companies, these innovation, these startups are taking the world to a forward direction. Um, interesting enough, this the mover and shaker words came to my a uh, very recent discussion with one of our customer, a world, I think, leading service provider who takes the uh, network as a service offering in the uh, Indian market. And um, all of a sudden I just said, there isn't a better word to describe what they're doing, what, what they're, and we are enabling them uh, to do what they do. And collectively, we are shaking the service uh, provider market, uh, we're taking the, uh, the market to a new direction uh, that moves and leaves to the next generation of network, that how fiber connectivity can be turned on and off, on demand. The network can be uh, as a service that customers pay uh, what they use and leave the resource to other people so other people can use the resource and to increase our global efficiency of all of the capital investment, all of the asset, all of the, um, uh, the carbon footprint that we're creating. And in today's data center, uh, the challenge is we're consuming so much. Uh, how can we reduce the carbon footprint, the energy consumptions, and all of these global uh, data center that we're deploying um, and uh, by letting the connectivity to be a uh, network as a service, network as a service uh, in demand that allows these equipment, these uh, data centers to be better utilized than to reduce the need for more footprint, more power plant to be built. Uh, and we're in this monumental time that AI is taking the world to another level, you know, 20 plus years on after the, the internet, the search engine come to the market and we have just arrived to the beginning of a new era. And that's scary, that's exciting, uh, but let's face it, we need to make this um, fundamental revolution to be sustainable. Um, and um, I think the movers and the shakers now is needed. And again, I think this is an exciting time for small companies, young companies, that brings the technology, brings the mindset that we can change the status quo. We can take the world forward in a bigger step and for common good. And um, yeah, so I want to reintroduce these words from 20 years ago when internet was booming, the optical networking is connecting our globe and connecting our day-to-day -day life. 
and we are at the point that the world is taking another uh, big jump uh, forward into the AI era and uh, we feel uh, we are responsible for the sustainability of our society, of our uh, globe, our environment uh, and the biggest concern is um, how the energy can sustain, how we can provide the energy but we can reduce the energy consumption by being more efficient being far more efficient and then I think the uh, network as a service is a critical element that started becoming such a norm that I need fiber, I need the fiber now. I need the fiber for two hours. I need the fiber for the next two days. And that's the only time these global resources will be allocated to you on an on-demand basis, as a service basis. So these key global resources and the energy that come along can be much better and efficiently utilized. So movers and shakers will be in our discussions uh, moving forward. And um, we would like to invite more people, more companies, more partners and customers to join our discussion and to join uh, our moving and shaking uh, efforts and journey and uh, make the world better. <music>